Hey, welcome on board and welcome to the beautiful island of Mallorca. This is Jamie at the Head Teacher. You have to talk money with your children. Most people out there don't have a clue about money management and therefore there's a very good chance their children won't have either. The fact that you're watching this video means you know you should be talking to your child or to your children about money. Maybe this scares you or excites you or you're looking at ways to, to talk about the subject. The best way is to jump on in and start talking about it. Depending on your child's age or your children's ages, an interest level will depend on how deep you need to go and what strategies you want to start implementing. These talks don't need to be set at a specific time and place, but if that does work for you, then that's great, that's fine. You know, life is a way of bringing these opportunities to you, and it's up to you to make the most of them. Start as early as you can. Researchers have found that children, even from the age of three, are able to take on the basic ideas of value and exchange, even in a very rudimentary way. Although these are basic, it is important to learn the role that money plays in our daily lives. Even your toddler is eager and able to understand a lot of what we do. When you see them playing shop in preschool and swiping pretend credit cards or pushing buttons at the ATM, you need to realise they are absorbing more than you think. Use stories. If you start lecturing them, more often than not, they'll just drift off and blank out anything that you're trying to tell them. And this can even backfire and they'll do the complete opposite you're trying to get them to do. If you use stories to illustrate a point, then they have the chance of taking it on board more. Like if a friend couldn't get a bank loan for a house because he had spent too much on a car, it then lets them see the financial mistakes have consequences. And this will stay with them more than just a lecture. Also, positive stories like a friend who saved tirelessly for, for years so she could finally buy her dream home. This will paint a much nicer picture. Keep it appropriate to the age of your child. For younger children you can work with pocket money and the threes um, principle. One third for saving, one third for giving, for charity and one third for spending. Robert Kiyosaki recommends having three piggy banks named for each thing. Then they feel the pleasure of giving to a worthwhile charity. They see their money growing in a saving pot. And they know they have money to spend on almost anything that they want. For older children, they can start to learn about family expenses and budgeting. When times are tough, how to cut back. And when there is plenty, how to save for that rainy day. Now, most of us have had a time or two with bad money management. Whether it was running up too much on our credit card or some other indiscretion, resist the urge to come clean about it in front of your children. As Beth Koblener says, your kids are not your financial advisor or your priest. If you answer a direct question, choose what financial sins you talk about. You don't want to glamorize what you regret in doing. Keep your disagreements and disputes about money in private. Studies have found parents who regularly fight about money were three times more likely to have children who owed a large amount of money on credit cards <clears throat> than parents who kept the financial peace. Remember, money is a mum and dad thing. Don't let just it be just one or the other. It needs to be both. The children can then start to think it is either a woman or a man's job. They make it everyone's business to participate. Actively, you know, get them to talk about these things and talk about money. And of course, don't try to keep up with the neighbours. Fight this urge to compare your decisions with your friends and neighbours. Their choices are totally different from yours. Normally, you know, you have no idea of their true financial situation. Maybe they've come into a, an inheritance or have been saving extremely hard for this thing or, or can be up to their eyeballs in debt. What is important is where you are now and what you're doing for your future. 
keep away from keeping up or looking down on friends, neighbours and people like that. And hopefully you won't pass this on to your kids. There is so much more to go into with money talk and children. And as we go along, I will share more ideas and suggestions that will help you with increasing your children's and your own financial intelligence. This is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher. Please, don't keep this a secret. Share this with your friends and family. You know, and for me, if you want to hear more, you want me to carry on more, please leave some comments in the comment section there. And like and subscribe. If we don't look after ourselves, no one else will. Until next time, Jamie at The Hedge Teacher.